Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam, Dar, from Kama the House of Peace, formerly Mzizima, is the former capital as well as the most populous city in Tanzania and a regionally important economic center. Located on the Swahili coast, the city is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. Until 1974, Dar es Salaam served as Tanzania's capital city, at which point the capital city commenced transferring to Dodoma, which was officially completed in 1996. However, as of 2018, it continues to remain a focus of central government bureaucracy, although this is in the process of fully moving to Dodoma. In addition, it is Tanzania's most prominent city in arts, fashion, media, music, film and television and a leading financial center. The city is the leading arrival and departure point for most tourists who visit Tanzania, including the national parks for safaris and the islands of Unguja and Pemba. Dar es Salaam is also the largest and most populous Swahili-speaking city in the world. It is the capital of the coextensive Dar es Salaam region, which is one of Tanzania's 31 administrative regions and consists of five districts, Kinondoni in the north, Ilala in the center, Ubungo, Temeke in the south and Kikamboni in the east across the Kurasini Creek. The region had a population of 4,364,541 as of the official 2012 census. In the 19th century, Mzizima, Swahili for healthy town, was a coastal fishing village on the periphery of Indian Ocean trade routes. In 1865 or 1866, Sultan Majid bin Said of Zanzibar began building a new city very close to Mzizima and named it Dar es Salaam. The name is commonly translated as abode slash home of peace, based on the Arabic Dar, house, and the Arabic es Salaam, of peace. Dar es Salaam fell into decline after Majid's death in 1870 but was revived in 1887 when the German East Africa Company established a station there. The town's growth was facilitated by its role as the administrative and commercial center of German East Africa and industrial expansion resulting from the construction of the Central Railway Line in the early 1900s. German East Africa was captured by the British during World War I and became Tanganyika, with Dar es Salaam remaining the administrative and commercial center. Under British indirect rule, separate European, for example, Oyster Bay, and African, for example, Kariaku and Ilala, areas developed at a distance from the city center. The city's population also included a large number of workers from British India, many of whom came to dominate trade and commerce. After World War II, Dar es Salaam experienced a period of rapid growth. Political developments, including the formation and growth of the Tanganyika African National Union, led to Tanganyika attaining independence from colonial rule in December 1961. Dar es Salaam continued to serve as its capital, even when in 1964 Tanganyika and Zanzibar merged to form Tanzania. In 1973, however, provisions were made to relocate the capital to Dodoma, a more centrally located city in the interior. The relocation process has not yet been completed, and Dar es Salaam remains Tanzania's primary city. In 1967, the Tanzanian government declared the Ujamaa policy, that set Tanzania into a socialist path. The move slowed down the potential growth of the city as the government encouraged people not to move in cities but stay in Ujamaa socialist villages. But by the 1980s the Ujamaa policy proved to be a failure into combating increasing poverty, hunger, and delayed development that Tanzania faced. This led to the 1980s liberalization policy that virtually ended socialized mandate spirit within the Tanzania's government. Until the late 1990s, Dar es Salaam was not put into the same category as Africa's leading cities like Nairobi, Johannesburg, Lagos, or Addis Ababa. But the 2000s decade became the turning point as the city experienced one of Africa's fastest urbanization rates as businesses were opened and prospered, growth in the construction sector with multi story building, bridges, and roads. Tanzanian banks headquartered in the city started to run more proper, the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange expanded and the Dar es Salaam harbor proved to be the most important in Tanzania and prominent for entrepot trade with landlocked countries like Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, and Zambia. The CBD skyline hosts tall buildings, among them the 35-floor PSPF Tower, finished in 2015, and the Tanzania Port S Authority, TPA Tower, currently under construction. Dar es Salaam is located at 6 degrees and 48 minutes south. 39 degrees and 17 minutes east, minus 6.8000, 39.2833, on a natural harbor on the eastern coast of East Africa, with sandy beaches in some areas.
districts. The region of Dar es Salaam is divided into five districts. Dar es Salaam region is divided into five administrative districts. All five are governed as municipal councils, and so all of the city suburbs or wards are affiliated with them. The regional commissioner is Paul Makanda. Kinondoni is the most populated amongst the districts, with half of the city's population residing within it. It is also home to high income suburbs. These include Ilala is the administrative district of Dar es Salaam, where almost all government offices and ministries are housed. The central business district, locally called Pasta, is located in this district. It is the transportation hub of the city, as the Julius Nyerere International Airport, Central Railway Station and Kazara Railway Station are all within the district boundaries. The residential areas are mainly middle to high income, and some of these are Temeke is the industrial district of the city, where the manufacturing centers, heavy and light industry, are located. The port of Dar es Salaam, which is the largest in the country, is found east of Temeke. Temeke is believed to have the largest concentration of low income residents due to industry. Port officials, military, and police officers live there. The Ubungo terminal serves as a transportation link to most large Dar es Salaam urban nodes. The narrow gauge commuter rail runs from there to the city center, with 10 level crossings along the route. Due to close proximity to the equator and the warm Indian Ocean, the city experiences tropical climatic conditions, typified by hot and humid weather throughout much of the year. It has a tropical wet and dry climate, Kutthan, ah. Annual rainfall is approximately, and in the normal year there are two rainy seasons, long rains in April and May and the short rains in November and December. In 1949 the town became a municipality, with four honorable nominated town councillors who elected a mayor. Until June 1996, Dar es Salaam was managed by the Dar es Salaam City Council, the highest policy-making body in the city. As of 2017 Paul Makanda serves as the commissioner of Dar es Salaam region. As any growing city Dar es Salaam is the city in Tanzania to which villagers flock for better opportunities. Westerners and Asians are also settling in Dar es Salaam, and the movement of foreigners has put a good workload on the relevant government body for developing better policies to accommodate the growing and the diverse population of the Dar es Salaam together with its suburbs. Dar es Salaam is the most populous city in Tanzania. With a population increase of 5.6% per year from 2002 to 2012, it is the third fastest growing city in Africa, after Bamako and Lagos, and the ninth fastest growing in the world. The metro population is expected to reach 5.12 million by 2020 and predicted to be as high as 76 million by the year 2100, making it the third largest city on earth, after Lagos and Kinshasa, by 2100. According to the 2012 National Census, the region had a population of 4,364,541, which was much higher than the pre-census projection of 3,270,255. For 2002 to 2012, the region's 5.6% average annual population growth rate was the highest in the country. It was also the most densely populated region with 3,133 people per square kilometer. The sprawling suburbs furthest from the city center are generally populated by Tanzanians of African descent, with the exception of Oyster Bay, where there is a large population of foreign expatriates. The edges of Dar es Salaam are spreading rapidly severely taxing the transportation network, which aside from ferries, lacks any kind of mass transit facilities, and raising the prospect of future urban overcrowding. Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most important city for both business and government. The city contains high concentrations of trade and other services and manufacturing compared to other parts of Tanzania, which has about 80% of its population in rural areas. Downtown includes small businesses, many of which are run by traders and proprietors whose families originated from the Middle East and the Indian subcontinent, areas of the world with which the settlements of the Tanzanian coast have had long-standing trading relations. The Dar es Salaam Central Business District is made up of Kisutu, Kivu Koni, Uponga and Kariaku areas as Tanzania's largest city CBD. All three areas making up the downtown are found in the Ilala district. Kivukoni has the city's important fish market, the Megagoni Fish Market. Kivukoni also is the place where the Tanzania Central Bank, the Bank of Tanzania, is located, so is the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange. Kisutu has businesses and offices and is the location of Dar es Salaam Central Railway Station, the PSPF Towers, and the TPA Tower. 
Jafar. Dar es Salaam has a problem with slums. According to a United Nations estimate, 70% of the city's population lives in informal settlements. The poorer residents crowd into downtown areas or large slums, many without running water or basic services. The more wealthy live in beachside mansions in the city's northern districts. Dar es Salaam has had a major construction boom. The PSPF Twin Towers with more than 35 stories is the tallest building in the city and the country. Dar es Salaam has major infrastructural challenges, including an outdated transport system and occasional power rationing. The Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange, DSE, being the country's first and most important stock exchange market. 4. Dar es Salaam hosts the Mlamani City Shopping Mall. Dar es Salaam on a natural harbor on the Indian Ocean, is one of the hub of the Tanzanian transportation system as the main railways and several highways originate in or near the city to serve convenient means of transportation for commuters. The most common form of transport in Dar es Salaam are the public buses, called Dala Dala, which are often found at the major bus terminals of Makambusho and Dubungo. Since the introduction of motorcycle transit business known as Bada Boda, most of the people prefer this type of transportation which allows them to get into the city faster compared to the minibuses which face a lot of traffic. Other types of transport include motorcycles and bajaj. The government has been introducing a bus rapid transport or metro bus system under the Dar es Salaam bus rapid transit meaning Mwendo Kesi and Kishwahili. The metro buses are managed by Yuda, Usafiri Dar es Salaam. The bus rapid transit system phase 1 is completed and already in operation by the Dar es Salaam Rapid Transit Agency, a government private sector entity, and began operation on May 10, 2016. It is branded as Uta RT, Usafiri Dar es Salaam Rapid Transit. The first section runs between Kamari in the northwest Okibukoni on the northern headland of the harbor. Phase 1 was funded by the World Bank, African Development Bank and the Tanzanian government. The city has the country's busiest port. The port is located on the west of the Indian Ocean, Kurusini Creek southeast of Dar es Salaam Central Business District. The port of Dar es Salaam handles 90% of the country's cargo. Due to huge influx of cargo and the slow pace of expansion, a new cargo port northwest of Dar es Salaam is proposed at Bagamoyo. Mbiki Gamboni ferries are running between southeast of Kibukoni and northwest of Kigamboni in Dar es Salaam. Travel to urban and suburban parts of Dar es Salaam is provided by the Dar es Salaam commuter rail. Tanzania Railways operates the central line from Dar es Salaam to Kigoma. The city also hosts the head office of Tanzania Zambia Railways Authority, Tazara, built in the late 1960s to early 1970s. The main terminal is located west of Dar es Salaam Central Business District in North Yambo Vatuka along Nelson Mandela Road. The Tazara Railway connects Dar es Salaam to Zambia. The Julius Nyerere International Airport is the principal airport serving the country with two operating terminals and one under construction, Terminal 3 Kapawa and Ilala Municipality. The airport is located west of Dar es Salaam Central Business District. Dar es Salaam, and specifically the area of Oyster Bay, is home to the brightly colored and tourist-oriented Tingatinga painting style. The Tingatinga Arts Cooperative Society is a cultural center workshop and shop dedicated to Tanzanian art, showcasing and promoting Tanzanian craftsmanship. Prominent Tanzanian sculptor George Lilinga has donated some of his works to the center, including decorations of the building's main entrance. The music scene in Dar es Salaam is divided between several styles. The longest-standing style is live dance music, music iwa dansi, bands such as DDC Mlamani Park Orchestra and Malika Musical Band as examples. Tarab which was traditionally strong in Zanzibar has also found a niche. Dot, however, it remains small compared both to dance music and bongo flava, a broad category that represents the Tanzanian take on hip-hop and R&B, which has quickly become the most popular locally produced music. Traditional music, which locally is used to refer to tribal music is still performed but typically only on family-oriented occasions such as weddings. Recently there has been development of another music niche, a taste that is rising and to be prominent is bongo flavor known as Sinjali with star singers such as Mshaka Samu and Manfongo. This rap scene is also present. In the 1970s, the Ministry of National Youth Culture aimed to create a national culture, which stressed the importance of music. Dar es Salaam became the music center in Tanzania with a local radio showcasing new bands and dominating the music and cultural scene. With the Suchama, or family, mentality governing culture and music a unified people's culture was created, 
leading to the rise of hip-hop music. Throughout the years, the radio in Dar es Salaam has played a major role in the dissemination of music because many people don't have television and cassettes are used over CDs. Due in part to the growth of the expatriate community and the increasing importance of tourism, the number of restaurants serving international cuisine has risen rapidly. The city offers a diversity of cuisine, ranging from traditional Tanzanian barbecue-style options, such as nyamachoma, roasted meat, served with rice or gali, and mishkaki, shish kebab, usually barbecued and served with salt, hot chili peppers, chapati, fries, and rice on the side, as well as the long-established traditional Indian and Zanzibari cuisine, to options from all corners of the globe, including Arab, Chinese, Thai, Turkish, Italian, and Japanese food. People who are looking for a light meal or a snack and prefer neither fast food nor a meal from the traditional restaurants but eat their food from street vendors, who usually sell good food and snacks at low prices. Samosas, sambusas, with coconut chutney are the most common snack street food items within the city, as the area is largely influenced by the fresh food products and spices imported from India. Dar es Salaam has two of the five museums comprising the National Museum of Tanzania Consortium namely the National Museum proper and the Makambushu Cultural Center and Village Museum. The National Museum is dedicated to the history of Tanzania, most notably, it exhibits some of the bones of Paranthropus boisei that were among the findings of Louis Leakey at Old Uvi. The Makambushu Cultural Center and Village Museum, located in the outskirts of the city one road to Bagamoyo, showcases traditional huts from 16 different Tanzanian ethnic groups. There are also examples of traditional cultivations, and traditional music and dance shows are held daily. In 2016, there was a breakthrough discovery in northern Tanzania by a scientist, from the University of Dar es Salaam, of footprints thought to be of a hominid that predates Homo sapiens. Close to the National Museum are also the botanical gardens, with tropical plants and trees. There are beaches on the Mzasani Peninsula north of Dar es Salaam and in Kigamboni to the south. Trips to the nearby islands of the Dar es Salaam Marine Reserve are a popular day trip from the city and a spot for snorkeling, swimming and sunbathing. Bang Oi Island can be reached by boat from the Mzasani Slipway. Dar es Salaam is the sports center of Tanzania. Dar es Salaam hosts the second largest stadium in East and Central Africa, National Stadium, which can accommodate up to 60,000 people. The National Stadium hosts Dar es Salaam's Young African Sports Club. Simba Sports Club, Azam FC and other Tanzanian football clubs, and international matches. There is a proposal to build a new stadium in Dodoma, much bigger in capacity than the present one in Dar es Salaam by the government as a donation from the Moroccan Kingdom. Apart from the national stadium, Dar es Salaam is home to the Uhura Stadium, used mainly for local tournaments and political gatherings, Karume Memorial Stadium, the home of the Tanzania Football Federation. The stadium is situated west of Kurosini. The Gymkhana Golf Course is located northwest of the Kivukoni area, between the city center looking onto the shores of the Indian Ocean in the east and Barack Obama Drive, also has tennis courts, squash courts, and a fitness club. Outside of the metropolitan districts, there is the Lugalo Military Golf Course, located in the Lugalo Military Barracks. Dar es Salaam's Mama Africa School, founded in 2003, is known for training some of Africa's finest acrobats. Dar es Salaam's Union Sports Club hosts a single indoor squash court with a referee's viewing gallery within the club grounds. The club has a yearly squash tournament once a year during the Muslim month of Ramadan. Dar es Salaam's Union Sports Club hosts a single room darts room. The club has a yearly darts tournament during the Muslim month of Ramadan. Dar es Salaam's Union Sports Club hosts a single room table tennis. The club has a yearly table tennis tournament during the Muslim month of Ramadan. Dar es Salaam's Union Sports Club hosts an under-the-sky outdoor scrabble tournament within the club grounds once a year during the Muslim month of Ramadan. Dar es Salaam hosts numerous outdoor swimming clubs and also swimming opportunities offered to people for leisure on the sandy beaches of the Indian Ocean being a coastal city. Newspapers in Dar es Salaam are often sold by people prowling through stationary traffic at road intersections. English-language ones, with online presences, include The Citizen and The Guardian and the Kishwahili Dailies, Tanzania Dima and Mwananki. Business Times is the only financial and economic newspaper in the city. It was established in 1988 and became the first private newspaper in Tanzania. Business Times owns Majira, another Kishwahili newspaper.
Dar es Salaam is home to ITV, Channel 10 television station formerly known as Dar es Salaam Television, DTV, and Azam TV, a subscription-based service from the Azam group of companies. AOTV, a television station, is also based in Ubungo, Dar es Salaam, as is the Tanzania Broadcasting Corporation. Installation of a Trans-Indian Ocean Backbone Cable in 2009 has, in theory, made Internet access much more readily available in Dar in particular and in East Africa in general. However, rollout to end-users is slow, partly because of spotty telephone line coverage at the moment provided by the Tanzania Telecommunications Company Limited, partly due to the substantial prices and long contracts demanded for purchase of bandwidth for small ISPS. Mobile telephone access to the Internet via 3G and 3.75G is still relatively expensive. 4G is making its way through major cities and towns with plans to go countrywide in the advanced planning stages. Internet cafes are found in the city center and free Wi-Fi hotspots in various government and non-government institutions as well as public transport. The expressed aim of the SECOM cable is to enable East Africa to develop economically through increased online trading. Dar es Salaam is the educational center of Tanzania. The city is home to several institutions of higher learning. Below are eight as follows. Below is a list of 19 notable people who lived in Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.